guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ify and if you're new here welcome to my channel today's story I'll be discussing about Samuel Bosu and you'll be asking who is Samuel Bosu Samuel Bosu is a Nigerian worship leader who recently made the news of cheating allegations so Samuel Bosu is married and uh, he's been married for 11 years because they celebrated their 11th wedding anniversary last year 2021 so this year we'll be making it 12 years in marriage so i'm going to be giving a brief background of the story so you can follow my thoughts on today's discussion samuel Bosu this week made a public statement public apology to his wife to his church and also Admitting to the allegation that he cheated on his wife with an African-American lady while on tour in the U.S. in 2021. Why are all this coming to air? Why are they making news? The reason behind his public statement or public apology, if I will call it that way, is because the lady in question granted an interview to a YouTuber stating with facts, when I mean fact, text messages back and forth through WhatsApp, uh, communication she had with Samuel Bosu regarding the when he was about to visit the US for his concert and the hookup they had and the entanglement that came after. So the entanglement they, that came after happened last year. This year, the lady granted the interview that she made all efforts to reach Sami so that they could, you know, reason together on what to do with the outcome of the entanglement when he was in the u.s and after they met in u.s they got together as adults and then um, and after which the lady got pregnant so the lady said she wouldn't have done the social media interview if only sammy had reasoned with her or discussed with her on way forward with the pregnancy that the only reason why she came to the social media to talk about this is because Sammy wasn't reasoning with her and I believe because the story broke online Sammy had to do public you know apology to his wife to the church but what really interested me so deeply was the fact that he owned up to his responsibilities to his actions he he owned up to it and he admitted to cheating asking his wife to forgive him and as well the church and stating categorically that he will be stepping aside. Wow. Wow. And that really, that was the, the thing for me there, that he will be stepping aside. I believe he need time to purge himself and seek the face of God and redirect and um, refocus, you know. And that goes to show when someone is at least working on some kind of integrity left on his name. I will say I was shocked when I read the part that he's stepping aside. And the reason why I was shocked is that this will be the first time, absolutely the first time I'm reading on the news or on social media that a Nigerian church leader is what? Accepting responsibilities on sexual allegations. So guys, let's get the record straight. Sabi Obosu does not own any church to his name. He does not head any church in Nigeria. He is only a worship leader in a church, a very, very popular church in Lagos. And he's been a worship leader for many years in that church. So a lot of people looked up to him. A lot, you know, a lot of people in the congregation looked up to Sami. For clarity's sake, like I said before, Sammy has been married for 11 years to his wife. And um, this issue coming up now is definitely going to be very devastating, so painful, and emotional breakdown. So guys, why I'm discussing this issue is because 
he accepted responsibility. He, he is stepping aside to purge himself, to seek the face of God, which has never been done in Nigeria. In the past years, we've heard or read about a lot of allegations against Nigerian pastors. A lot. And some are still happening. But nobody, nobody owned up to any action, any allegation, any responsibility. And nobody stepped down. I know someone will say, why would they step down? Of course, they will not step down because... Who are they stepping down for? The church is like a personal business owned by one person and you have some elders. You appoint some elders to work with you. You get some people to do pastoral job with you. But the church is solely on one person's name. Or maybe him and his wife and children, stuff like that. That's how it goes on in Nigeria. So if they own up to responsibility and step down, who are they stepping down for? What's going to happen to all the finances they generate from churches? No. That could be the reason why they can't take responsibility for their action. But Sami proved everybody wrong. He held himself accountable. And that is what is required for anybody that, that erred, anybody that missed a step. You hold yourself accountable because you you know one thing. You have a flock that you're leading. You have people looking up to you. So him realizing his mistakes and working on how to make it better, especially in his relationship, because I know he must have rendered an apology, but he owes a lot of that apology to his wife. And my prayers here for his wife is that God will give her the grace give her the peace give her the the stability she needs at this time the compassion the anything that will help her pull through god should grant her that peace because it's not easy it's always easier for someone else to discuss it but it's only he who wears the shoes that know exactly where it hurts the most and at this time is sammy's wife So I am so happy that at least some form of accountability is going on here, which we've had a lot of allegations in the past and nobody was held accountable. Nobody accepted any allegation. Nobody, they even went to court. Some went to court. Some tried to suppress the ladies for speaking up. Some tried to buy them over by, with money so that nobody, to shut them down so that they don't speak. So him coming up, accepting his mistakes, realizing what he's done is wrong, accepting to step aside, is a good development in Nigerian churches, if I'll put it that way. And I believe the, lead, the church leaders, the pastors, will learn from this act that Sami has exhibited. I really hope and believe that they will. And for a lot of people have said a lot of things about it, a lot of discussions going online about this particular topic. But the thing I will say here is very easy for us to judge human. I'm not here to judge Sammy. It's not in my place to do. The person he owes apology is his wife and God, not in my place. And I will refer to the Bible passage that says, He who is without sin should cast the first stone. Obviously, what he did to his wife by cheating on her is something that is very hurtful. It's an unthinkable thing, especially when you're a leader in the church. Especially. But I'm not God to judge, and it's not in my place. Like I said, he who is without sin should cast the first stone. So I want you to let me know in the comment section what you think. And my, my hope, my hope is that Nigerian pastors should borrow a leave from Sami's action, taking responsibilities for his action. They should be able to look inward and say, oh, 
if this man can do it, I too can come forward and tell God I have sinned, forgive me, and tell whoever you have sinned against to forgive you. I really hope this will make a change in 2022 in Nigerian churches. So let me know what you think in the comment section about him accepting the allegation and uh, admitting to it, in fact, apologizing to his wife for cheating and um, stepping aside from his role as a, as a worship leader, you know, to, re to seek the face of God, to purge himself of whatever it is that is happening around him. And as we think about it and leave comments, please also put the wife in prayers that God should grant her all the peace, all of it that she needs at this trying time. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts and concern in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the post notification bell to receive my videos whenever I post them. And as well, share these videos with your friend. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps the video to get other people to watch it. Thank you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Be well and stay well. Thank you guys.